I'm so pleased to introduce our next guest, Karen Housley, who's a candidate for the state senate in the northern Twin Cities suburbs. Karen, thanks for coming down to Channel 6. It's nice to see you. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, what we try and do out of this program is, is let uh, the voters and the, the interested public get to know about a candidate. This not necessarily an issues program. It's more about the experiences in life that inform how candidates will act in office, why, what motivates them to run for office. So let's start with the very most basic question. Why are you running for the state senate? <laughs> the big question. The big one. Um, I, to be honest with you, I was never political my whole life. Um, I grew up in South St. Paul, and when you're born and raised in South St. Paul, you're told you're a Democrat. So I thought I was a Democrat my whole life, so I would just always vote Democrat. I had um, no aspirations to, to be a politician. But I got recruited in 2010 to run for state senate um, in the district I was in. Where I live in St. Mary's Point, the district was completely different. And so I did run in 2010. I was recruited because I have um, a business background, some business sense. I wrote a book on businesses. And they, they thought it would be really great if somebody with some business sense were at the Capitol. I looked into really what my beliefs were and realized I, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't a Democrat anymore. And so I did decide to run in 2010, and there is a big need at the Capitol for someone with some business sense, some common sense, and who really, really knows their community. So I stepped up to the plate, and I think everybody should step up to the plate at some time in their life to do the community service and run for some sort of local government. We'll talk about the district in a minute, but you've talked a little bit of an overview of your background. Tell what what is your business background? My business background, I right now I own a real estate company, Karen Housley Homes at Keller Williams, and I also have a radio show where I interview people, places, and events in and around the St. Croix Valley, which is um, based on the businesses in the area. And the book that I wrote that was published by Random House, um, it was a business book teaching people how to invest in the stock market by um, analyzing the financial statements of publicly traded companies. So. Balance sheets and income statements kind of became my, and it still is my hobby. Um, so being fiscally responsible is very, very important to me, and that's another thing I think we need at the Capitol, is somebody who really does understand how businesses work and that you don't spend more money than you make. And sometimes that gets a little out of hand, so someone with some experience in that is really needed at the Capitol. You mentioned your district changed from the district that you ran in previously. How has it changed and how, how, how do you fit as a representative of the new district? St. Mary's Point, where I live, is right on the St. Croix River. Um, it's right uh, north of Afton. And in 2010, that district, St. Mary's Point, I was the furthest part north in the district. It went south all the way down to Hastings, into Cottage Grove, over to Newport St. Paul Park in South St. Paul. Um, and in, in February 21st, um, they redistricted and drew a line right around my house. So St. Mary's Point was lumped into this new district, Senate District 39, which St. Mary's Point is now the southernmost, and it goes all the way up the St. Croix River over to Forest Lake. So a lot of little communities along the river, which actually worked out really well for me because it is where my husband coaches the Stillwater High School hockey team. All of my kids have gone to school through Stillwater. My whole business is in the St. Croix Valley. I'm on a bunch of boards and volunteer at a lot of nonprofit organizations, and my radio show is in the St. Croix Valley. So it really is the community that I've known since I've moved back here to Minnesota. Um, this, is, this is where I live and work. But there was one small problem. When they did the redistricting, there was already two sitting senators in this district, so I was the third. Oh my, so <laughs> how, how did it work that you ended up, did, were you, are you challenging an incumbent somewhere along the line or how's this working out for you in election wise? Well, and so that all happened on February 21st. So it was, I thought I was running in the old district because they really did need some business representation in that district. But so February 21st and it was Senator Ray Vandeveer and Senator Ted Lilly, both of them were in, redistricted into the same district as I was. And so I thought, well, you know what, I guess I'm not running. I, it, that's okay, I'll help whichever one of those two. And Senator Vandeveer, well, they're both incumbents. Senator Lilly moved to Woodbury, and Senator Vandeveer was going to run to represent the whole district. And on the last possible day that you could file for office, public office, on June 5th, Senator Vandeveer um, announced he was retiring due to health reasons. So then it became an open seat with two hours left to file for. Oh my. Here I am. And, and, you, <laughs> and you were able to scramble down and, and, and file in time and, and the rest is history as they say. You've been through a primary? I was. There was two of us that 
had two hours to get to the Capitol to file, and we did. We had a fi uh, primary, and I ended up winning that with 67 percent of the vote. So on to the general election. What are the issues the voters are talking about? You know, and it's still, and the issues haven't changed much from 2010. It's still jobs in the economy, and you don't want to be cliche about it, but it's, it's the truth. People need jobs. Um, and for the last 11 years, I've been selling real estate, and it used to be when I'd sit down at the kitchen table with homeowners, I, it would be an exciting time, and, and I would say, you know, oh my gosh, you must be so excited. Where are you moving to? And now you sit down and you say, you know, what's your mortgage balance? How many mortgage payments have you missed? It's, it's a really, really tough time out there because one of the two homeowners or both have lost their jobs or their companies have moved out of state. So I started to look at the bigger picture, you know, why is this happening? And we really do need to create stable jobs for our people here in Minnesota. And once we get that figured out and done, then, then the housing market will turn around. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, I, I recognize music of your life radio station, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, the other question I have to ask is, now Housley is a familiar name, and you threw out the hockey coach thing. You're not related to Phil Housley, are you? I am. Phil and I grew up in South St. Paul. We were about a mile apart. We actually dated in seventh grade, um, and then we broke up again until our senior year, but our senior year, was that was official then. And, yeah, we've been married for 27 years, have four kids. We moved all over the U.S. and Canada. He had a 21-year NHL career. He's in the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame, the International Hockey Hall of Fame, and he really can put in a mean campaign sign. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, lest our viewers think I'm a complete disingenuous person, I knew that before, ah! we, before we started. But I want to ask you about living around and how that might have informed. Uh, you, you mentioned living in the U.S., living in Canada. Mm -hmm. Are there some things you want to bring back from other communities, things that they did well or better, or things that you don't want to get into? I mean, how... Uh, do you well, yeah, it was, it was... I became... And that was another reason why I wasn't involved politically, because you are so busy moving your family of six to all of... Some places you only live a year, some of them three, one we got to stay in for eight years, but you're so busy moving the kids, finding them schools, finding churches, orthodontists, doctors, that politics was the furthest thing from, from my mind. But what I got really good at was researching school districts and the, uh, education to me and a, everybody in the state, it's a very important thing in a person's life. So I, school districts and my kids' education was very important to me which was why I really wanted to get back to Minnesota because I loved our education here. And when I did get back, I realized that a lot of it has changed since when I left in 1982. Um, but we aren't the worst system in the world. I mean, there were places that I went that you, wouldn't, you couldn't put your child into a public school. It's just not possible. So I think that was one of the things that I really am passionate about is education and making sure our kids get a good education and that we do have a good public education here system in the state of Minnesota. You have six kids? <laughs> Family of six. Yeah, Four well, kids. Yeah, that's well, right. Yeah. Four kids, Phil, two oh, dogs. Yeah, I, well, I thought you were going to go to the, uh, well, we're all kids at heart card there. Oh, but, uh, yeah, we're so all <laughs> are, do, do your four kids and your husband have as much energy for the campaign as you do? They do, but they take turns having it. They, yeah, well, they, yeah. They Phil do. will, you know, he'll, a Saturday morning, he'll say, you got me for three hours. So, uh, yeah, he'll do it, and then we'll rotate to my son, Wilson. The girls, I have three girls and a boy, the girls love the parades. Oh, they think parades are fun, throwing candy and passing out brochures. Phil, he just likes campaign signs. What about, um, uh, let's go over the communities again in your district, in the district you're running. It's uh, just so people know and get yep. aware. And um, Saint Cro uh, it's the St. Croix Valley starting at St. Mary's Point. So it goes all the way up the river, Lake St. Croix Beach, Lakeland Shores, Lakeland, West Lakeland, Oak Park Heights, Stillwater. I'm going to miss one, but all that whole little area um, up to Marine on St. Croix and then into Chisago County a little bit, Franconia and Schaefer. Then you go west, it's like an upside down L, over to Forest Lake and Grant and Pine Springs, Lake Elmo, all, that's the whole district. And it's very, um, it's, it's, they're very hardworking, intelligent people. It's, it, the door knocking has been a lot of fun. So what are they saying at the door to you? What, what are, uh, how, how are you connecting? What are they asking you about? It's, again, they, they are talking about jobs in the economy. Okay. And, and it's, what are you going to do for me? Which I, I would ask the same question, what are you going to do for me? After they say, oh, you're that real estate lady. Um, they'll, they'll say, I've, I've seen your sign somewhere. 
Um, but they do. They want to know what you're going to do for them and because they want to get back to work. Everybody wants to see the economy moving again. So you really get just such a brief moment at the door with them. You know, hi, I'm Karen Housley running for state senate. And because the world has changed so much, you're intruding into somebody else's life. You know, they get their information when they want to get it these days, the computer, um, their phones. So you're knocking on their doors a little. So you can't sit there and talk too long about the issues, but they just want to know that you have been a leader in the community and you're going to get something done. Well, uh, we're getting uh, close to our wrap here, and I want to make sure that uh, the viewers know who are looking to learn a little bit more about you can find you where? Uh, you have a website? I do have a website. It's Housley for Senate. It's H-O-U-S-L-E-Y-F-O-R, Senate.com. Facebook page, which is Housley, Karen Housley for State Senate. And then Twitter is Housley for Senate with the number four. Do you tweet? I tweet all the time. What do you tweet about? I tweet pictures. I tweet pictures of our new sign locations, parades, people at the door, people I've visited. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a tweeter and a Facebooker. Well, you seem to be all over this new wave of, of communications, oh, yeah. and I think that there's something very special that your campaign has worked on, and you've tried to trick me into telling <laughs> you about it, but I'm not going to let you go there, Karen Housley. You have to tell us a little bit about it, but I know it's going to be fun, and viewers are going to want to stick around for it. Well, our campaign volunteers put together a little video, a Gangnam style, just like uh, Saif, the Korean rap star. They put together their own Gangnam style. Team Housley goes Gangnam style. So the little dance video that they did all on their own, and it's it's pretty funny. They've got energy, too. So we want people who are, who are in this district to learn more about you. You've told them where to find you. Uh, just before we close here and on, on the video, I want to thank you for coming, Karen. You've classed this act up quite, quite a bit today, and uh, we appreciate your being here. We want you, the viewers, to know that this is a special service that Channel 6 provides for any candidate and campaign that's interested. Their campaigns pay for the production time and airtime, and I'm pleased to volunteer my services on behalf of Channel 6. So without my more ado... We want to go to your video and wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mark.